welcome back. In this video, we are going to build a Jenkins pipeline for deploying Docker images into AKS cluster. So this is the use case, right? Okay, so I have a Python based application, set it up in GitHub. I have already Dockerized that application, okay? And that is this one, right? I already Dockerized that. What I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to create a Jenkins pipeline, okay? Once I create a Jenkins pipeline, the Jenkins pipeline is going to uh, automate the Docker uh, image creation. And then it is also going to upload the Docker image into Docker Hub, okay? And then using the Jenkins pipeline, we are going to deploy into AKS cluster, right? So that's what we are going to do. So basically, this is what we are going to do, right? Okay. I'm going to create a AKS cluster, okay, using Azure CLI with two worker node. Once I set that up, I'm also going to set up Jenkins master and install necessary plugin. And then I'm also going to set up a Jenkins slave where, you know, the actual build is going to happen. We are going to install Docker as well as kubectl on the slave machine. And then, you know, we need to uh, create a necessary credential for connecting to Docker hub as well as the AKS cluster using kubeconfig file and then you know finally we are going to create a jenkins pipeline in order to automate the docker image creation uploading into docker hub and finally deploying into kubernetes cluster okay so this is what you know we are going to do i hope it's all clear so let's get started okay awesome so this is my website guys you know coachdevops.com i will be posting the link right below the video as well Okay, great. So if you look at the pre-request, yes, we need to have, uh, you know, AKS cluster up and running. We need to have Jenkins master and slave up and running with the necessary plugins and whatnot. Finally, we also need to have a Docker hub account created and everything, right? So, so that's what, you know, the pre-request is. So those are the pre-requests. So let's get started. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to start creating the AKS cluster, okay? So if you want to know how to set up AKS cluster, I already have YouTube video, okay? So that is this one, you can definitely go and watch it, but you know, we are going to do that uh, right now, okay? So I already have, so this is my uh, local machine, right? I have already installed, uh, I have already installed Azure CLI, okay? And I'm going to use Azure CLI in order to create the cluster. Okay, so so how we can do that? First, we need to create resource group. Okay, so I'm going to create a resource group. So if you see here, I'm already logged in. Okay, if you want to, if you want to see, first we need to log in into Azure. I am already logged in here. You see here, I'm already logged in, signed in. Okay, so once I'm in, and then I'm going to create the resource group. Okay, you see here. So what this is going to do is this is going to first create the resource group called my resource group and then we, I'm creating under South Central US. Once the resource group is created, what we can do is we can go ahead and then create AKS cluster. Okay, what I want to do, I want to create a cluster with two worker nodes. You see here, that's what you know I'm mentioning here. Okay, and then of course, I also want to create keys and whatnot so that I can SSH into those worker nodes, right? So let me execute this command. So this is going to create two worker nodes, right? This is going to create a AKS cluster with two worker nodes. Okay. And that's going to take uh, some time. So wow, see here, it says that cluster has been created and uh, we are able to see, see that, right? And then what, we want to do is you know we want to uh, update the cube config right we want to update that so that you know we should be able to execute kubectl command and whatnot right so let's actually go ahead and then execute this command so what this is going to do this is going to connect to the cluster and then it's going to uh, override the existing cube config information on that okay let me go ahead and then execute that command wow see here it says that the cube config has been updated. Now, you know, we should be able to execute kubectl command. 
Wow, see here it says that uh, you know this is our cluster. This has currently you know two worker nodes, right? So it looks like our uh, AKS cluster has been set up. And the next thing is you know we have to uh, go to our Jenkins and then you know start uh, doing the other stuff, right? Okay, so if you see here, I already have Jenkins master and slave set up. So this is my Jenkins, okay? If you see here, you know this is my master, this is my slave. So both are uh, you know uh, connected okay this is my slave so this is where you know we are going to uh, execute uh, the bill okay and if you also see here what are the things uh, the slave should have right you see here so we need to uh, you know install uh, docker and then you know we need to set up docker you know on the on the slave instance okay and then we also need to restart jenkins as well you know once you do that integration okay this is all been already done okay awesome so we are going to start from create uh, we are going to start from step number two okay so what we need to do is we need to go ahead and then create credential okay so what we are going to do is as you can see in this diagram uh, we are going to create a docker image using jenkins right once we create the docker image we are going to upload the docker image into docker hub okay so we need to create a credential for docker hub so how do i do that let's go to jenkins manage jenkins go to manage credential and then i'm going to add uh, jenkins credential here right add credential and uh, i'm going to go ahead and then put in my username this is for docker hub and then that's my docker hub id and then i'm going to update the uh, password as well and then i want to keep the id as docker hub and then i'm just going to leave this also as docker hub okay I don't want to save that and that is nothing but this one right hub.docker.com right so this one right so i'm talking about this one okay this is where you know i want to create a docker image and upload my docker image over here okay so fantastic so we have set up credential and then we also need to uh, set up credential for our cube config as well right Okay, so how do I do that? So first, let's quickly uh, view the kube config. Okay, so basically, I have uh, installed kubectl, uh, Azure client, everything on my local machine, right? Okay, so I'm going to uh, view that. So that's my kube config, right? So what we have to do is we have to uh, create credential, you know, using this kube config file, and then you know we should be able to save that. Okay, let me go to Jenkins, click on global credential, add credential, right? Uh, so I'm going to yeah see here you have to do this option you have to go with this option so how did uh, this happen because if you look at the pre-request we need to install uh, all this plugin right okay we need to install uh, docker plugin see here docker plugin docker pipeline plugin and then kubernetes deploy plugin right we have already installed that as part of the jenkins so when you install that you know you are going to see this option okay all right, so let's select that and then id i want to keep this as you know this the description i'm going to do like this and then you need to you know choose this option this is where we are going to upload or uh, yeah this is where we are going to upload the cube config information so let me go ahead and then say i'm going to copy the cube config file yes okay all right and go ahead and then paste it over here Right, let me make sure everything is good okay it all looks good and click on ok okay so we have added uh, you know credential for docker hub and then we also created a credential for our cube config as well right so that you know jenkins can use uh, this one for uploading the docker image into docker hub and then jenkins can use this one uh, you know for deploying it to kubernetes cluster right so everything is good let's go back to our instruction right so we took care of adding the credential right and then the next thing is we have to go and uh, you know start creating the pipeline job okay awesome so let me go to jenkins click on jenkins i want to go ahead and then create a new pipeline here right i want to say docker kubernetes uh, deploy pipeline job right? you can give any name it doesn't matter okay and then i want to select pipeline and then say okay this is where we are going to start writing our pipeline script okay so if you see here right so this let me quickly explain you the pipeline okay 
basically we are going to execute uh, you know the pipeline on on our slave machine okay so that is what you know i have the label as slave and then if you see here this is the uh, credential information for connecting to docker hub okay and then if you look at the stages i do have a checkout stage uh, okay so this is going to check out from my repository which is this one where we have already created our python uh, application and then we also dockerize that and then i also have the deployment aml file here as well right i do have that okay and then uh, yes we are going to check out the code and then build the docker image and then we are going to upload the docker image into docker hub finally we are going to deploy into kubernetes cluster right so let's start uh, you know doing one by one okay let's start building the pipeline stage by stage so i'm going to say pipeline right and then i'm going to say stages okay and then here uh, we need to give agent right label the agent uh, label is slave that is the name we had uh, given there okay and then i'm going to add the environment section that is this one but the docker uh, hub user id uh, okay so that's my user id oh that's my user id okay and this is the uh, image name that's fine and this is the uh, you know uh, the credential id right for docker hub so i'm going to leave that as it is okay and then uh, this is the docker image variable okay so everything is good and then let's start creating our first stage right so i'm going to say check out right okay so we are going to check out from uh, python uh, we are going to check out from github right so i'm going to go ahead and then copy this code if you want you know you can also generate using uh, snippet generator as well that's not a problem for example let's say you know if you want to use snippet generator all you have to do is you know use checkout from version control right and then you just have to add this one and this is a public repository you know where you don't have to worry about giving the uh, password and then just select that you know generate it generate the pipeline code and then just copy that over here it's, it's, it's one and the same right okay so we are able to check out and then the next uh, oh yeah i have to add steps block too right because this is a declarative pipeline okay and then i'm going to have a build stage right build image okay build docker image steps okay so this is where i'm going to use uh, docker for building it right and then if you see here this is the command so you, you also need to have a script block so let me copy that okay so what this is going to do this is going to build the docker image okay all right fantastic and then once i build the docker image i want to upload into docker registry right okay and then i want to write the next stage Okay, I'm going to say image upload. Okay. okay, so how I'm going to do that again? This is the code. Okay. Okay, so that is the code for uploading Docker image perfect so before i go too far let me just make sure my you know code everything is working fine right let me make sure everything is good okay perfect so basically what we are doing here is you know uh, we have written the label for slave and then we have provided information about our docker hub and then uh, this is my stage for the first stage checkout stage and then i'm building the docker image and then finally i'm uploading into docker hub right okay so let's try to uh, test this before we go too far let me say apply and save i'm going to go ahead and then say build now okay okay as you can see here wow it's, that was very quick you see here it was able to check out 
uh, it was able to build the Docker image and you know, it was able to upload into Docker Hub as well. So if I come here, if I say refresh, we should be able to see the Docker image being up updated here. Wow, see here, the Docker image has been you know updated here. Fantastic, right? So now what we can do, the next step is you know we can go ahead and then uh, write the code for Kubernetes deployment. So yes, for this, we need to install Kubernetes deploy plugin. You would have already installed the Kubernetes deploy plugin, right? We already installed this plugin and uh, we are going to use the uh, Kubernetes uh, credential ID, which we just uh, set, it, set that up, right? And then this is the deployment ML file, right? Which has information about uh, the image and whatnot, right? So that is nothing but uh, this one, right? So without this, you know, you won't be able to deploy into uh, Kubernetes using Jenkins. So you definitely need this, right? Okay, if you see here, this is my uh, image information, right? Uh, and then um, this is a container port. And then yes, you also need to what have a service as well, right? So that you know, you can access the application in the browser. Okay. All right. So let's quickly go ahead and then uh, write the code for Kubernetes deploy, right? All right, let me click on configure pipeline. And then I'm going to write another stage. Okay. Let us say Kubernetes deploy. Okay. And then we are going to copy this code. Okay. That's all. It is that simple. This is our kube config, uh, you know, uh, information, the credential ID, and then this is the AML file. And then, you know, this is like an optional flag, you know, we are not doing any substitution, you know, this can be false as well, you know, it doesn't matter. Okay. Awesome. Let's say apply and save. Now, if I uh, go ahead and then say build now, let's see what this does. Wow. See here? it was able to deploy into Kubernetes cluster. Right, see here? No, this is the stage, right? It was able to read the uh, Kubernetes, uh, you know, uh, deployment AML file, and then it was able to deploy into Kubernetes cluster. And then finally, we got the stage as success, right? So now, you know, we should be able to uh, access the pod and whatnot. So now let's go and view that, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and then execute this command. Wow, see here, it says that our parts are running. You see here, it says that our parts are running, okay? So the reason why it is showing two is because we have what, you know, two parts here, you see here, right? So we have two parts, perfect. And then you can go ahead and then uh, access the service as well, right? Wow, see here, this is our service. Right, this is our service. So right now, you know, it is in the process of, uh, you know, bringing up the service. As you can see right now, it shows pending. Looks like our service is up. You see here, when I execute this command, we are also able to see the external IP, and then you know, we are seeing that the port number also associated with it. Right. So now, how do I access the application? Right. All you have to do is copy the external IP address. Okay, and then we are going to access using port number 5000 because that is the port where our Docker container is running, right? So I'm going to go ahead and then, you know, copy that and then enter. Wow, see here? Now this is our Docker container, right? So this is the application, Python application, which is actually running inside uh, Kubernetes uh, cluster, AKS cluster, right? Right? Yeah, so that's it, guys. You know, that's the, you know, you would, uh, deploy the python based application or python uh, container inside uh, aks cluster using jenkins pipeline thank you for watching